project was called Southern Black Women's Influence Workshop, and it was a project proposed by the Chapman Cultural Center's uh, two Southern fellows. They had approached me and they wanted to um, include a couple of our students in a show. Three students participated, uh, Jada House, Taylor Wade, and Damage Smith. The workshop was um, students were invited to choose between a list of 10 to 12 Southern uh, Black female artists. They would choose their artists, they would research their artists, and they would replicate a trilogy piece um, that would help narrate experience a student has had or the projects that the artists have produced. I thought that this would be a good opportunity to educate um, some students here at Spartanburg uh, Methodist about maybe some uh, contemporary black uh, southern female artists that they may not know of. Both of our interests are really looking at the state of and the thriving of black communities in the South. I loved how they made it their own. They used these inspirations, the techniques, um, the kind of different examples given by these artists, and they really kind of were able to tell their own interests and stories through these pieces. The reason why I chose India Bill, which is the photographer artist, visual artist artist that I chose, is because she focuses on um, black women in the workforce or corporate settings. As as far as how they dress or their hair. Honestly, I think this was a very, very good idea because, you know, a lot of black artists aren't really showcased in society. I wanted to focus on black culture and black hair because it's a part of who we are. I think that is really important, especially in society where it's predominantly white and a lot of beauty standards are of Eurocentric straight hair or not 4C hair, which is afros are more 4C coarse. I wanted to focus on those and I think a lot of people seeing that were like, oh, okay, this is, we should embrace this, you know, do more of who you are, who you're born to be. I watched a lot of YouTube videos. That's how I learned. I need to see how and need to hear. I, reading doesn't really work for me all the time. So I watched, I think, maybe four hours one day of just videos on Yellow Ford and who she is and, you know, where, what she wants to be and what she wants her art to represent. We both do a lot of line work and a lot of um, symbolism and that's what I try to do in my work. So I'm like, I really like her. I feel like I uh, captured who, who she is and who she tries to be and the story that she tells and um, I did that by being able to tell my own story. I love the way Miss Black, she presented the black woman. Essentially what you have is now looking at the woman and focusing on the woman while the man is in a state of defeat almost because he's so hurt and basically it's a back and forth between, between the two. It's really nice. Uh, to have so many people come up and compliment my work and want to know what, you know, what the, what was the inspiration. I'm, I'm honored. I'm honored that he chose me out of a list of women for Black History. Somebody honored me. Me. I was happy that um, that I was chose um, by my artwork because um, I really love painting the image of Black women. And the light that I do is like make them look vulnerable and, and strong. I love black people, I love black art, I love black history. And I think this is a, a great idea that, you know, we bring the light about, you know, um, black history, you know, in different forms of poetry and, and art. You give people a different view of how, you know, how black people, you know, struggling, how and how we're moving forward instead of just moving backwards. I think the show itself inspired our faculty and our staff to be able to include uh, students more to be able to have more events like these. I think it brought more inspiration to campus for Black History Month in a different way than I think we've ever really done.